Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jenny Ching. Uh, I'm today at uh, Dr. Lee's Traditional Chinese Medicine Clinic. I'm very excited to be here because we're going to make videos about TCM, Traditional Chinese Medicine, and I'm going to introduce you all about it. Uh, Dr. Lee was born in 1959. I was born in 1984, and she started over there at 1978. Yeah. Yes. It's like really before I was born. Um, yeah, uh, it's uh, more than 40 years. That's right. So, very happy to be here, Dr. Thank Lee. you. Um, the first question that comes into my mind is uh, what is traditional Chinese medicine? Because as a Chinese, you know, really, as a Chinese, we our life is related to many ideas of traditional Chinese medicine. Like, uh, um, for example, we should eat ginger or drink ginger tea when we feel stomach problem or when we catch a cold. Um, those small little things all comes from the ideas of traditional Chinese medicine. Yes, because ginger is a warm, mm -hmm. so the warm can treat some cold disease. Mm. So when you catch a cold, mm. so make uh, the balance. The okay. Chinese medicine is a balanced medicine. Okay. Mm. But what really is traditional Chinese medicine? Because many people are wondering, um, what is it? Okay, so I think first I need to uh, talk about our Chi Chinese medicine's vision. Okay. Vision means this, mm. solar systems. Okay, the universe. Yeah, the universe. Mm -hmm. So we believe the sun mm -hmm. is the center. Okay. So the earth around the sun, mm. one circle, one year. Mm -hmm. And the Chinese people, mm -hmm. in this year, we have 24 solar terms. Mm -hmm. These 24 solar terms, because have a four season, mm -hmm. that is help us understand in the Earth, four season, one year, mm -hmm. 24 solar terms. Okay. That okay. you can do something. I have to mention here that the Chinese ancient time calculating is completely different than the Western time calculating. Um, we use lunar calendar and then um, the in Chinese it's called jieqi. Each jieqi is one period of time that in the past um, tells, for example, farmers when to plant something, when to do something. It's like a guidance to tell you what to do in each time, time period in China. That's yeah. the 24 jieqi. Solar term. Solar term, yeah. Yes. So, and uh, we also can see the moon. Mm -hmm. So the moon around the, the Earth, one circle, is mm -hmm. one month. Okay about uh, more than 28 days. Mm -hmm. So women have a period. Okay. It's uh -huh. 28 days is a circle. Okay. That's have some relation. Mm -hmm. So a uh, human being we know have a man and a woman. So the woman is belong to yin, man mm -hmm. is belong to yang. Mm -hmm. That uh, we circle with the moon. Mm -hmm. So we understand that this mm -hmm. and uh, sun is yang, mm. moon is yin. Mm. So yin yang, but yin yang not only like this simple, we can separate, mm. many different separate. They first just think, oh, everything in the world, you just can separate yin and yang. Mm. And then you can separate the yin with yin, yin with yang, that separate continue. Okay, so let me summarize. Um, the theory or the vision comes from the observations of the universe in the ancient time and um, um, also creates the yin and the yang theory yes. because we think or consider the sun as the yang symbol and then the moon as the yin symbol. So yes. we, we have a yin yang. Uh, yin yang I think is very familiar with you because uh, you probably see Hollywood movie of uh, Kung Fu Panda. Uh, mm. And so you see panda is black and white, so a good representation of what the yin and the yang over there, the symbol. And uh, I guess yin and yang is uh, one of the foundation of traditional Chinese medicine. Yeah, because when daily time mm -hmm. the sun comes, mm. then you need a work, uh, yes. activity. Uh. That is yang. Mm. The moon comes, mm. we need a sleep. That is yin. Be, be, have a rest. Oh. So that is yin. You mm. just uh, compare this activity and rest, mm. so you separate yin yang is easy. Okay, so in China, if you look at the yin yang theory, um, does it mean that everything can be distinguished between yin and yang? Yes, everything. Okay, can you make an example about our body? Like what is yin Okay, and yang? so our body is because China is a farmer uh -huh. country. Yes. So we do the farmer work is we back face to the down. Okay. So do this farmer. So our back 
have sunshine. So, so this is yang, oh. and the front is yin. Mm -hmm. And then if you stand, you understand that this is above the umbilics is yang, okay. low is yin. Mm -hmm. So our feet, mm. our this is uh, kidney one point. Oh. It's always they are on the on the feet, so it's yin. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. I never thought so. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And uh, we also often hear about um, five elements or five movements. What is that? Oh, that is without the sun, moon, earth, we also have five stars. Okay. For example, this year is uh, mm -hmm. It's more like uh, Venus. Mm. Close the earth mm -hmm. have affected earth. So the Venus is in the earth is a metal. Mm. The metal in the body is a lung and the large intensity. So this time the virus is affected the lung. Okay, so the Chinese put the let's say elements like um, wood, metal, fire, water, um, earth, earth, connect them with the the stars. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. And then each star representing certain function. Yeah. Uh, and then different year also represented by different stars. So like yes. this year is the Venus star. Yes. And then because of the power of that mm -hmm. would it affect our health and yeah, because, our life. Because human being mm -hmm. living in the Earth. Mm -hmm. So uh, anything affected Earth, mm -hmm. the human being can affect it. Okay. This Very is a relation. Uh, yeah. I know about five elements, but I never connect it with the movement of the stars. Never. Yeah. So, oh, no. yeah. So this is uh, uh, in Huang Di Nei Jing, we have the record. Huang Di Nei Jing? Uh, yeah, okay. this is a. Uh, Huang Di Nei Jing is uh, a very, very ancient book about traditional Chinese medicine. Probably the, one of the oldest one. Uh, right? Not the oldest, but it's a, it's a complete, uh, very good series mm -hmm. and with the acupuncture treatment. Okay, so everyone who study traditional Chinese medicine has to study this book. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, not uh, full of this book, just a part of part chapter uh -huh. of this book. Okay. So yeah, if we use our whole life mm -hmm. to study this book, mm -hmm. it's also every time you can have a different uh, thinking, different idea. Uh, got it. Um, I think uh, people who is watching this video also are interested to know um, what can TCM or traditional Chinese medicine help with their life. Yeah, that's why because this uh, we separated the uh, twenty four solar term mm -hmm. is six separate si six so six energy is different. Okay, six and energy. yes, six energy is different. So in our body we have the three in three yang also six. Then we separated the uh, hand and the feet. So. 12 meridians. Okay. So, so, so 26. Um, no, 24 solar term. 24 di uh, divided by 6. Yeah. And then the 6 uh, use the hand and the feet divided into 12 yeah. meridian. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, each uh, meridian, mm. because one day we have 24 hours. hours. Yeah. So, two hours, mm. one meridian works. Ah, so that meridian line is responsible for two of the 24 hours. Yeah, and life. also these meridians connect with our organ. Ah. For example, gallbladder. Okay. Gallbladder, the time is uh, the evening, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. It's his work time. Mm -hmm. So the better, because this is moon come, so better you sleep and then you put a, like a, your uh, battery in our self mobile mm. to get energy. Mm. So that time if you sleep is good. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I guess you just have to do the right thing when the right meridian. Yeah, goes right the time uh -huh. go to the right things. Okay. I have to really understand what are the 12 meridians later. Yes. I guess. Mm -hmm. So in this meridians, if blocked, mm -hmm. so the disease will become. Okay. So open this meridians, we have lot of method. Mm. For example, we, uh, we have the gua sha, mm. we have acupuncture, mm. we have massage, we have herbal, mm. and 
we have moxabistrin mm. and we have qigong. Mm. They all the method is help our to open our meridians, then treat the disease. Okay, so to let the meridian flow. Yeah, it's important. Okay. It can be survivor mm -hmm. or death. Okay, because if it's not flow, then it's great. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, that's why uh, we need to pay attention. Mm -hmm. I also wonder, like, what is the difference between traditional Chinese medicine and the Western medicine? What's the theory difference? Like, because traditional Chinese medicine is uh, talking about meridian, talking about the channels that we don't see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, because this theory is different. Mm -hmm. uh, as I say that the solar system, mm -hmm. this solar system, when we understand the human being, mm -hmm. only the Earth, mm -hmm. and so we, if we see this universal, that mm -hmm. means you look the big size. Okay. And West medicine think the small because they think, oh, this skin, skin hair cell, and then inside they have this, this, this. Yeah, all the way to DNA. Yeah, they they inside. Uh -huh. So, in my opinion, mm -hmm. if because now the scientific mm -hmm. also say this is the uh, solar system, mm -hmm. everyone knows it. Mm -hmm. So, if we believe that is true, mm -hmm. that we believe human being stay in our Earth, mm -hmm. then I think uh, Western medicine or Chinese medicine we can combine. Okay. This is the first uh, we need to understand this. Mm -hmm. Um, how can they combine together? For example, when I go to see a doctor, when I have a problem, uh, I have two choices in China to go to yes. see the Western doctor or go to see the Chinese doctor. Um, in which cases do we go to see the Western doctor? And in which cases do we see the Chinese doctor then? Mm, it's dependent on uh, which kind of disease. Okay. So uh, we have a long time to understand that we have a time mm -hmm. relation about a disease. Mm -hmm. So. Western medicine see the patient have a tumor. Okay. Then they say, okay, we just uh, cut it. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Chinese medicine, when we see the tumor, mm -hmm. we will say, oh, your tumor where it is? Uh, where, which meridian? Which meridian okay. block? Uh -huh. And then we can make it uh, open. Okay. Less the meridian open, then mm -hmm. the tumor will be disappear. Mm -hmm. But Chinese medicine pay attention prevention. Mm -hmm. disease is more easy than treated the disease. Mm -hmm. Like a big tumor, of mm -hmm. course, you cannot uh, use some needle or method to open it. Mm -hmm. It's too big. It's too too bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you cut it. Mm -hmm. So we can see different uh, condition to decision mm -hmm. which your choice. Okay, so you don't uh, hold an opinion consider like traditional Chinese medicine is better than the Western medicine. Yeah, yeah, Western yeah. Western medicine is better than the traditional Chinese medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever it works, yeah, it works, and uh, oh, sometimes you say operation is more easy, it mm -hmm. works, mm -hmm. but it's compared in the future. For mm -hmm. example, thyroid, they think, mm -hmm. oh, you have a small tumor, you can mm -hmm. cut it, mm -hmm. but it's not easy to let it back. Yes, once you, you cut it, you, lo you lose it. You yeah, you lose, you lose it, the function is gone, is gone. Mm -hmm. then you need to take every day, take medicine mm -hmm. to to, to, to make this function, mm. you understand the whole life. Mm, you have to be on this Yeah, medicine, so yeah. you need a, you, you need a more understand. Okay, yeah, got it. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, We're going to talk more about traditional Chinese medicine in our next videos. Uh, if you like us, please subscribe. And if you have any question, please feel free to contact us or email us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.